So welcome to installing the Bicom Multisoft Pilot. So we're going to start by inserting the CD into the CD drive of your computer and you will find that Windows will recognize the disk so it should start to auto run and here we have the auto run. So you click on the run regomed starter.exe click on it and here it opens if it's not displayed in English you just click on English and here we have the full instructions now because the pilot and the test need the, the .NET framework to be installed correctly even though it says down here net framework for full is installed we're just going to install it again and if it's got the latest version then it will just give you a message but it's always good to make sure that this is installed correctly because it's usually where some of the program faults in the installation lie so we're going to pray yes and just follow the on-screen instructions now it says here same or higher version of .NET Framework 4 has already been installed on this computer so we know we're good to go close that and we're going to start with Bicom Multisoft Pilot installation so we click on this area here and follow again the on-screen instructions select English United States because that's the only English option I accept the terms of the license agreement next self install next and then finish so now we've installed the Bicom pilot we're going to open it and normally we'll put the dongle in the machine the little red license dongle but I just want to show you um, what happens if you notice here because we haven't put the dongle in it says for this program a dongle has been registered but cannot be found at present so at this point we need to put the dongle into the machine yours might say a dongle hasn't been uh, registered so we'll talk, talk you through how we can do that so we're going to go to extras and about and if you notice I've already got a dongle um, registered there so if you didn't have any number displayed there which is likely you click register and you put the number that's on the dongle in here and click OK and it will then put um, in there so that now it's cleared it um, I'm going to put the the number in 121 and the other three numbers so now I'm going to install that into the machine and you will see a little red light comes on the dongle itself and if you can you sometimes hear a little acknowledgement that the dongles come in now I've put the dongle in it's come up with this other number dongle number that's a number that's unique to that actual dongle that's been sent to you so you now know that it's registered and working correctly now you notice that it's gone from demo device it's still showing demo device so if I close this and then go back in it's now showing I'm just going to click offline it's now got the machine that I named it so but it's registered but there's no device connected so we need to turn on our Bicom machine 
so that it's then going to connect. So I've turned on the machine and the blue screen will appear but if you try and connect it too early till the machine's actually fully turned on it won't find it. So I now go to Extras Connect to Bicom and if you notice here it says Connected so once you know that you've got connected and there's no demo mode here then you know that you've successfully installed the pilot and you've successfully been able to connect to the machine. So once you've installed the pilot there are a couple of things we need to do. In order for the frequencies that are in the pilot to be able to be transferred to the PyCon machine we have this area called measure level. Now the measure level can sometimes start automatically when you launch the program. If you've not got the audio lead coming from the headphone socket of your computer to the audio connection on the BICOM you will get a very strange noise. I'll do it now if we press measure level that's the sort of noise you will get. So you need to connect the appropriate lead to the machine. To have it come and test the level automatically you need to go to options and then here measure level when starting the program. If that's ticked it will automatically test the level. And then we're going to go to BICOM Multisoft test installation. This is a program with about 12,500 digitized ampules in it. So unless you've paid extra for that software, it doesn't come with the pilot. You can install this as a demo version, which is quite useful. Now, sometimes when you click this, you get this error message. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down to computer and I'm going to locate the seat the DVD drive I'm going to right click on it and go open and it opens up this route now this is um, quite important because if we go to the, the Multisoft test here now you'll notice that there's an these icons here this one is called Setup and it's an application of about 1410 kilobytes. So I'm going to right click on that and go Run as Administrator. This is a way of bypassing the installation menu. Incidentally, if the DVD doesn't launch automatically when it goes in your computer, you would do the same thing to install the pilot. You would go to the DVD drive right click on the Regamed file and go into the root folder. So here we've going Bicom Multisoft test we're going to go next, next, next. I accept the terms. So when you're installing the Bicom Multisoft test program you always install it with the silver dongle that licenses the test program in the machine because then um, when you're running the installation it comes up with this area where you can put the serial number so I'm going to um, paste my serial number into there and then continue with the installation because it's quite a large insta file it takes quite a long time to install depending on how fast your machine is and how much information you've already got on the machine
So I'm just going to pause this while it installs. And then we're going to go to finish. We don't need to install Adobe Acrobat because we've got it already got it on this system. If we close that, we then go to the viewer. And unless you're in a networked environment where you're using multiple computers and a number of BICOMs, then you don't need that there. So that completes the installation of the pilot and the Multisoft test. So if I go to Multisoft test now, um, it opens, we no longer get the demo version window here and we're straight into the um, home screen. Um, instructions as to how to use the test program will come in another tutorial. Thank you for listening. Thank you.